Well, we're coming up to some September 11th again. It's August 31st, and already <clears throat> we have the anniversary of September 11th being played over and over again on the television and on the news. And I look at that, and I realize we're, we're still in the same dilemma we've been forever in this world. How can an all-loving, all-perfect God have allowed that to happen? Whether we're talking about September 11th, or we're talking about Katrina, or we're talking about the tsunami, it's, or the wars, all of this, it's always the same question. So I have another question to pose to you. That's a good question. If God is real, then how can this place be real? One or the other is not true. Reasonably, one or the other is not true. For many years, I followed the first question, followed the trail of atheism, if you will. But it really didn't get me anywhere because I was still caught in an idea that somewhere, sometime, I'd still, I'd still die, and there would be those that suffered. The idea that God is real and this isn't offers some hope. All right. What if you really knew you were hallucinating? What if you really knew that the world that you were seeing through these eyes, the sounds that you were hearing, the world that you were touching, had nothing at all to do with reality? There is an alternative to this. But it requires you to change your mind. It requires you to begin to hmm, begin to offer from a place of forgiveness the perception that you are experiencing in your world. Every encounter you have is a holy instant waiting to happen through your forgiveness, through your willingness to doubt the perception that you're experiencing. And that includes a good perception or a bad perception. Because they are relying, uh, they are relying on each other to be true. No, there's something that has nothing to do with physical perception at all. It is an experience that cannot be described, but only experienced. It is love in its fullest state, where no one can be hurt, no one can feel pain, and there is no death or loss at all. And it's available to you right here, right now, in your forgiveness of me. I love you.